have decided that we propose, in fact, because it's the European Parliament together with the Council who have finally to take uh, the decision, uh, that we would uh, unilaterally suspend the import duties uh, on um, a number of important export items from Pakistan, um, a package of uh, uh, 900 million euros of exports or imports, uh, as you wish, that would boost uh, uh, the uh, uh, EU imports from Pakistan by about uh, 100 million euros on a yearly basis, and it accounts for uh, roughly 27 percent of Pakistan's current imports to the EU. I think the impact on, on European industry will be very uh, limited, and we have taken uh, into consideration the sensitivity of certain uh, tariff lines, like for example on bed linen. Bed linen is not part of the proposals that, uh, that we are making. While we have uh, been presenting a package, that uh, uh, this is uh, also the result of the deliberation in, in, the, uh, um, in, in the college. I think it is a, a very uh, fair proposal. Uh, which refers to uh, exports of about uh, by roughly a, a, billion, a billion euros, 900 million euros, um, about one third of, of, their, of their exports, on top of what is already exempted now, and you should not forget about that. Huh? The larger part is already exempted and tariffs are very, are very low. So uh, I think this is a, a very, uh, I would say, courageous proposal that we are making, which is uh, really of considerable help to the uh, to the Pakistani economy. Uh, imagine that you would simply uh, make away with all tariffs. Uh, I don't know whether you have a, a, a clear view on what the reaction could be. For example, when we ask for a waiver in, in the WTO, I think uh, then you would have, uh, not only with uh, some member states, but also with the WTO as such, a, a very serious problem. I think this is a courageous proposal, and we try to uh, get it through the WTO.